My name is Jan Rieger, and I'm one of the co-lay leaders of this church. I've been a member of the church since 1979, when I moved from Ohio down to Virginia. My name is Carson Bradley, and I've been and I've been going to Timber Lake since I was a baby. I'm Stephen Wright. Uh, I'm Tina. And we've been coming to Timber Lake for probably three or four years now. Three and a half or so. I started. Um, I started coming here, Court asked me to play drums at 6.33, and then... Hi, I'm Herb Grant. I uh, became a part of the Timberlake United Methodist Church family about three years ago. I'm married to Lynn Alley Grant, the pastor, and uh, was fortunate enough to be able to come here when she was appointed here. Uh, my name's Court Doss. Um, I've actually been coming to Timberlake ever since I was in eighth grade. Uh, me and my brother both came for youth group um, and kind of got stuck ever since. Hi, we're the Drakers. I'm Jesse. I'm Jeremy. And this is our baby, Brooks. We've been attending Timberlake for about two and a half years now. My name's Chuck English. I've been coming to Timberlake for 15 years. And this is my partner, Ken Young. And you've been coming about seven. Yeah, a little more. <laughs> us and the, both of us were still in college when we got married. She had just finished undergrad and now she's in law school and it's taught us kind of how to build each other up and you know not only building each other up but growing closer to God through through church and through worship. And... Timberlake has greatly impacted our lives tremendously. Um, Lynn certainly has too. Um, through when we lost our first to when we gained another with Brooks. We're in the loving business and not the judging business. So it makes us think now and know that people have a story and that you should always be there for others no matter what. You should love everyone. And she has just taught us so many things that we have really taken to heart every single Sunday. And during some very difficult times in our lives, when my 10-month-old grandson was diagnosed with a cancerous brain tumor, the people of this church surrounded us with such love and compassion. It was something that became a family event. They were wonderful to us and to our son and to his son. Especially over the past six, seven months, to be a part of something that's been very welcoming for people, very hospitable. Uh, Lynn talks about being hospitable and, and, and grace-filled for people and, and <clears throat> I've seen that uh, with what we've done in the, in the modern service especially and the things they're doing in the traditional service as well where they're meeting people's needs um, where they are. <clears throat> to see where Tim Blake's going in the future and, and to see the, um, the impact they're going to have. You know, I see it personally uh, with, you know, hopefully, I don't know where my son will go to church, but I'm hoping that the impact that he'll have while I'm here um, and the way he grows up and has the ability to, to, um, to conquer any dream he wants to conquer because he has the support of this church but the love and grace of Jesus as well. Probably the, the most impactful thing that I've seen is the way the body has struggled with some difficult issues, but always strives to find that thread of love, the love that Jesus exhibited for us, and the focus, moving from inward focus to outward focus, and a time when we said, you know what, we're a mission to the community, and even right where I sit, down below me, in the annex is the filling station, a true ministry to the community, all because of the good hearts and the good love and the good effort of the people of Timberlake United Methodist. So Lynn leaving is definitely going to have an impact on me personally, but um, I know that she's feeling really called to go where she's going and she's
she loves this new pastor and I'm sure he's going to be great and it's going to be a, a new step for me and a new step for a lot of us but um, I think it's going to be a really great thing. And everybody deserves to be loved and respected and that's what I found at Kimberly especially in the past three years since Lynn's been here and I will miss her, miss her dearly. Absolutely. Here through when we had our miscarriage through when Brooks was in intensive care for a week. She has shown us so much great love and has just renewed our faith and we are just forever grateful for that. Pastor Lynn and I have been friends forever. Whenever she sees me, she gives me a big hug and a smile. She has taught me to love everyone. And I will miss her very much. And I will miss you too, Mr. Herb. I will never forget seeing Lynn's hand on Mom's chest as she got very close to her face and calmly talked to her, even though Mom couldn't respond. But it was a, a very moving time for me and I could feel the presence of God in that room as Lynn was quietly praying that her transition would be an easy one and that God would welcome her home. I'm going to miss Lynn and although I know she's going to have a very bright future ahead of her, I feel like the church is going to grow and for both the church and for Lynn, the best is yet to come.